What's going on guys? Ryan here with chatbotbuilder.ai and I'm glad you are here. We're live and we are going to turn me off on my phone here and what we're going to do is go over some brand new features, specifically our finally verified Google Calendar integration. This is one that I think you're going to just really love um, and appreciate how simple it is. I've been checking over the past couple of weeks just how different the chatbot platform ecosystem really is these days. And I think you're going to just be pleasantly surprised. So without further ado, I am going to jump right into this bad boy. So if you don't already have an account, you're going to want to click here to sign up. If you have your account, you're going to click log in. If you're not already taken to your dashboard, like pretty much always, I'm going to start with a brand new account. That way, if you'd like to follow along, hopefully I'm going to go to pace that is easy enough. What I usually recommend is for you to go ahead and click on a web chat when you're just experimenting. If you know off rip, you're a you know, certified pro chatbot builder, go ahead and pick any channel that you like. Uh, Messenger is usually the best one to start with if you know you're just going to go for it. When you're just experimenting, choose web chat. In this case, let's just call it um, CalendarBot. So this, this is probably going to be one of the shortest videos I've done because this is just so easy. Uh, but that's a good thing. The first thing that we're going to do is head over to our settings section. And we're going to click on integrations. Let's make uh, Ryan a little smaller here. Hope y'all are doing well. All right, so once we are on the integrations page, you will see Google Calendar. Just click that. Click Connect. And you're going to get hit with what Google account do you want to choose to provide calendar access to your chatbot with. And so in this case, I'll just choose my name here. You're going to need to give all permissions to the application of Chatbot Builder. And what this does is it just allows Google to do what you want to be done in your account, right? Let's click allow and easy as that we're, we're in there. Let's hit a little refresh here. Let's see where my integrations went. Bam. So we can see here our Google calendar integration. Perfect. The next thing that we need to do is go right over to our tools section. Scroll down just a bit to appointment scheduling here. Here's where you're going to create your calendar or the calendars you want to make available to your customers. We're because we're already connected to our Google calendar account now, which was our last step. We're automatically integrated with all of your current appointments. So you're not going to, it's not possible to like overbook or double book yourself, at least from our side. Let's click on add and we'll just say Ryan's calendar. Click continue. Here's where you can define all of the details you want to provide to your customers. So for example, I could say this is a 30 minute private consulting session with Ryan. Then I'm going to choose when can people book. Um, for this example, I'm not going to make any changes here, but you will be able to easily add any times that you'd like. Um, so we can, we'll add one additional time here maybe. So I'll come back here and let's say I want to maybe go to lunch and then I'll come back maybe something like maybe give myself some time, two o'clock. And then I'll come back and end the day maybe here. Right, so I can add the times very easily. Click Save. So I can see I've got multiple booking windows on Monday. Then I'm going to choose what sort of appointment is this. By default, it's phone call. But you could choose in-person meeting or online meeting. And the difference here is if I choose online meeting, I'm going to have the ability to add a, a Zoom link, for example. But in this case, we'll just leave it a phone call. This is what's really cool, and this is just... I hope hopefully will set us apart 
from a lot of the other um, players out there. We immediately, upon you hitting save, create three new flows for you. These are reminder flows. So these are reminders 10 minutes before the meeting, an hour before the meeting, and a day before the meeting. And you can go into your flow sections and customize this text however you'd like. You can also create flows ahead of time if you know the sort of uh, messages you want your customers to receive. You can create them ahead of time and select them here and choose when you want them to go out based on the moment in time that they've confirmed the booking, which is what I'll go over next. We can also choose some restrictions here. Um, and so in this case, let's say uh, there's a daily limit for the amount of appointments I want to take um, based on my availability. And let's just say I'm only taking two a day maximum. Um, and then I want to also add uh, maybe a whole hour. If someone books, I'm going to give myself an hour before the next one's able to have booked the next slot. So this looks pretty good. Let's hit save. Here's your active, non-active switch. And then what's also really important here is when you click on the three dots for more, you have your link that you're going to be able to have immediately on your clipboard. Now you're not going to be able to just paste in this link and have it work. It doesn't work that way. It must be done in the bot. The biggest reason for this is because we need to have the information of your customer collected before you allow them to book. Otherwise, you're not going to know who booked with you. So let's solve that now. Um, first, let's go into our flows. And we can see here are the um, default messages that we provide for you based on the first booking um, calendar that we've made. But we're going to make a new flow called book button. And this is super simple. It's a one block flow, my favorite. We'll select the block to um, work on it, click add content, and let's just choose the text element. We're just gonna say, tap below to reserve now. And then we'll click on the button. We'll click the button here, and we'll give it a label, something simple like book now. We'll choose website, and here is where you're gonna paste in that calendar link. And from here, we do the job on the back end for you of being able to track who this person is. Now you must have collected the data beforehand and that's what we're gonna look at next and we're gonna do that with AI. One other little trick that you might want to look at doing is something like an, an action here. Maybe we tag all the people, warm lead, if they've clicked that appointment button. So even if they don't go through with booking the appointment, we can at least know and maybe have a drip campaign ready for anyone who's clicked that button to express at least somewhat interest. Uh, that's up to you. So from here, we'll just hit save. And so this is the block that you can customize all you want um, that they'll receive the customer once they've provided us the information that we're looking for. So let's just hit publish. All right, so we're gonna go back and now what we're gonna do is we're going to create a chat GPT trigger, which is a special AI tool that we've developed here to allow you to capture and extract and use data given to you from your customers through your conversation. So we'll do that now. What we'll do is we'll go to the settings section, click integrations, and then let's choose um, OpenAI chat GPT here. Choose Manage under Chat and GPT Triggers. We've got three triggers built in for you that you can use if you'd like. Connect user to human. This is going to be active on all accounts by default, which you can turn off, but it's very handy. If your customer needs a human assistant, this will allow the automation to pause and for you to be alerted if you're the admin. Get the weather and time is exactly what you would think it is. These are great to explore, especially if you're interested in learning how to create more advanced flows through the API. Although we've made everything so easy at this point, it's just almost not even necessary to, to mess with super advanced things these days. We've kind of just done a lot of that for you. 
In this case, we're going to create a new trigger, a new um, AI action, if you will, and it's for booking an appointment. So this is standard. So book appointment is going to be the name of our trigger. This is going to allows the user to provide their full name, email, and phone number when they tell us they want an appointment. Okay, cool. So what this is going to do is number one, it's going to detect the intent of the user when they want to book an appointment. So it doesn't have to be the word appointment. It just needs to be the intent, which is very handy, especially when it comes to speaking to the chatbot in different languages. It's going to understand this. And this is something where dialogue flow has a really tough time handling. OpenAI handles it beautifully. We're also being very clear about we need the full name, the email, and the phone number. This is going to be required. And so the next step here is where we've got what data to collect. We're going to define these custom fields. These are actually system fields, meaning you don't need to create them yourself, but you need to select them. So first we can go to full name, add new, email, phone number. It almost may seem redundant, but this is just a really good practice to ensure that ChatGPT's the, the API understands, OpenAI understands what exactly you want your bot to do. So we're almost done. We're going to say user's name, user's email, user's phone. And again, this is just, we're instructing ChatGPT through essentially function calling what we want it to do and the information we want it to save. We've matched the values extracted from the conversation with ChatGPT and we're storing them in your custom fields, in this case, your system fields within your account. So once we've collected the information through the conversation, which I'll show you next, the following will happen. We'll then send the book now button. And so we're going to get the information and then we're going to get the book now button. Let's hit save or continue here. Let's go back into integrations and go to chat GPT here. We'll click edit and you see here are our chat GPT triggers. We're just going to close this one off and choose the one that we've made called book appointment. This will be the only one that we turn on. We can see that we're using GPT 3.5. We again now give you access to 16 K, which is a much larger window, but we don't need that for this case. Now we just want to give a simple prompt. And so let's do something like this. You are Robo Ryan, the friendly chat bot who lives on the website and within the social media channels of Ryan's pancake restaurant located on Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, period. Your number one goal is to welcome warmly all customers who chat with you on the website or on social media channels, and you must invite them to join the Pancake VIP Club. Once they do, they can book an appointment anytime to have special VIP pancakes served up like a king. You are required to collect the first name, last name, email, and phone number of the guest in order for them to be eligible to create, we'll say make, make an appointment. All right, cool. So funny enough, right? In this case, this is our prompt. We're Robo Ryan, friendly chatbot for Ryan's Pancake Restaurant. And your goal is to welcome customers warmly and you want to invite them to the VIP club in order to make an appointment. This is almost sounding too crazy. <laughs> you know, um, we'll do this and then maybe I'll show you um, an, a fun new feature we're working on. Um, for now, I don't want to confuse you. So again, what we're doing, we're just giving a basic prompt 
and we want to collect the information and we're going to essentially instruct chat GPT. I've got to start saying it. We've got to instruct the API to do what we wanted to do. So we're just making it more clear. Um, and I'm going to say, it's important for you to always remind the guest that to make an appointment as a VIP, they must provide their contact information. All right, so that'll be good enough for now. We can hit continue. So now we can see that our default reply in the chat GPT section is turned on. So this is our default reply. Even if we have something selected here, the old way, it doesn't even matter. If you want to have a different default reply other than what is in your chat GPT section, you would need to turn this off and then define whatever default reply you want. The easiest way, the fastest way, is, is just input your prompt here, whatever your main instruction is. And in this case, we're turning on our trigger and we're good to go. Now we should be ready to test this thing. So in order to do that, an easy way is to go to maybe the welcome message here. Click the three dots and hit preview. Continue. So we get our welcome message. It's just, hi, welcome to Calendar Bot. How can I help you? Don't forget, if you're going to use our welcome message, be sure to change this button here because this is going to go to just our website by default. Um, change that button or delete it and do whatever you'd like. And so I'm just going to say, hey there, who are you? Let's see, let's move my little head here too. You don't need to see me for this. Am I able to do that? Let's see if I can move the right little box here. Sorry, guys. All right, we'll, we'll just put my little dude right here. So, hey, I'm Robo Ryan. I'm a friendly chatbot, and I'm here to assist you with any questions or information you may need. And I'm going to just say something like, I heard y'all have VIP pancake appointments. I'm interested. And so at this point, we should be prompted by the bot to give the first name, last name, and email. So absolutely, we have a special VIP pancake experience at Ryan's Pancake Restaurant to book a VIP pancake appointment. We just need a few more details from you. Could you please provide your first name, last name, email, and phone number? Once we have all that information, you'll be all set. And so let's just give them a little bit of the information. We'll say Ryan Baggett and what else did you need again? This question right here already breaks every other chatbot builder's flow based builder's flow. Because instead of continuing the conversation and continuing to collect information naturally, utilizing large language models. Instead, you get the rule-based, eh, sorry, that's not what we're looking for. Or as a chatbot builder, you understand your bot's collecting information that's not relevant because when I'm just giving my name and then asking something else in the same phrase, this is typically not a accepted response in a chatbot. So this says, thank you, Ryan, to complete your appointment. We also need your email address and your phone number. This will allow us to reach back out to you. So let's just give the, the phone number in this case. So let's see how good our bot is. Is it going to request me get the email to? Yep, it sure did. So thanks again for providing your phone number, Ryan. Now please tell us your email. So we'll do that. We'll give him the email. We could have just given everything up in one answer too. It's going to work exactly the same way. Oh yeah, what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. So now you're going to be able to see this really work. Sorry, I get a little excited. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> let's click book now. And we are in our calendar setting. So boom, it's, it's already blocked many things off. And it is reading my calendar perfectly. This is awesome. Super, super awesome. So let's go ahead and put, uh, pick a date. Let's choose Friday. And let's choose 
11.30 a.m., and we'll choose book now. Done. That's literally all I've got to do. Now what I can verify is did that meeting get to my calendar? Let's check it. So I'm going to open up my calendar right now. I see that it's October 6th, and we should see we've got a new um, meeting here. So boom, it literally perfect. So I'm going to send this uh, little screenshot to my desktop here so that you guys can see how this worked. Because what happened was, in this case, <laughs> by default, without me having to do anything at all, let's go to our downloads here. Bam. Do you see how awesome that is? I see right here, Ryan's calendar. And there's the number that I provided. That is how you do it. In this case, it just was so perfect. And so to give you one more look, I'll send you one more screenshot of me just clicking into the actual appointment so you can see what that looks like. And again, all this is all of it essentially is customizable to your needs. Let's show one more screenshot here. Bam. And so this is what it looks like. In this case, it's got location as the phone number because we chose phone call, right? And it's got the calendar here. It's going to alert us 10 minutes before. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. And then I'm actually the, um, the person on the appointment. So it's got my name on it, my information. That is the easiest way possible to um, make an appointment easy. Um, there's still something fun that we can do let's just go ahead and say thanks it blew me away today guys i'm not a hater i promise it blew me away oh sweet look at that this is such a nice surprise i love being surprised by the ai you're welcome ryan if you have any other questions or need further assistance feel free to ask and enjoy your vip pancake experience at ryan's pancake restaurant i'm a fan and i really think i'm going to start a pancake restaurant one day now <laughs> just kidding um what we can do just to show you just how far ahead chatbot builders are when you're using AI, when you're using our tool. By the way, check this out, how fun. I just came in as a guest, right? Here I am, Ryan Baggett. Here's the email, the phone number, the time, all of this is correct. Um, and I see this is when I became a contact. This again is correct. And boom, what else do I see? I see the appointment right in the inbox, which is so, it's just awesome. Let's see, let me move my little guy again. So I know I'm not in the way. You have a lot of options here. The inbox is extremely powerful. Um, something else that's fun, for example, I could easily assign the conversation. Now, don't get confused because I'm using my name as the guest. Um, matter of fact, let's just show you a whole another way. Um, let's take this same link and let's go incognito. Let's go here. And let's see if we can fire up something new. Okay, so our, our stuff is so, so good. We just, we, we track and everything. Um, I'm going to say, hey, my name is, um, what's a good name? John Smith. Hey, my name is John Smith. Let's close out of this guy so we don't have so much going on. So, hey, John Smith. And I'm going to say, um, my email is johnsmith at aol.com. And my phone number is 912-843-505-1657. I used two, zip, uh, two area codes there. All right, so there's the phone number, email, blah, blah, blah. And so now I'm going to book here as John, old Johnny. And 12 p.m. book. Done. John Smith in there like swimwear. Click the X. Let's get out of here. Now let's refresh this bad boy and let's see if the magic happens. That's what I'm talking about. And again, no effort, no flow builder. No matter how the conversation goes, we got the correct information here. Now we've got both appointments because we tracked the user ID very well 
since this was so easy, I'm telling you guys, I think that this is going to be even more mind-blowing. Now, we've got a little icon here for you. When you've integrated your calendar, whether that be the Outlook calendar or your Google calendar, either option, you get another treat enabled on your input bar in your inbox. And that is this calendar emoji. So now I can easily send Ryan's calendar. I can send the link or go to the calendar. Let's say I want to cancel the appointment. I can click go to the calendar link and I can create an appointment this way or I'll show you how this will work. If I go to the inbox, I can then cancel that appointment if I want to. Um, boom, canceled, right? And if I wanted to send a cancellation email, that's no problem. I'll show you one last little trick here that'll really help you out, especially when it comes to using AI and rule-based concepts. When you've got your AI rocking, and it's doing exactly what it's instructed to do and it's working well, there are still certain things that the old school way of creating a rule and triggering and the next action is still very valuable. And so if we go to the tool section here, we can click on triggers and actions. We can click add and we can say um, cancel email, right? And so we can say something like, when a custom field changes and we could say um imagine well, i'll show you how to make a custom field too that'll be just good for you to know let's go to custom fields here and click add and we'll call this um appointment date we'll change the type to a date and time um, now we've got that available let's click back and we'll go here, cancel email. We didn't really get to define that yet. So in the custom field value of appointment date changes, then we could make something happen. In this case, it would be start another flow. And it could be, instead of the confirmation, it could be the cancellation. So when we cancel something or whenever the appointment changes boom this is the trigger and what does it trigger it triggers it says confirmation here it could just as well be a cancellation this is also how you could have um, your own custom confirmation sent let's look at that confirmation so you can see how easy that is clicking confirmation here this is super simple let's add one um, emoji here or excuse me not an emoji a gif right we've got giphy built right in to make things just easy so here we got a calendar um let's choose this one it's generic enough that's how easy it is you can customize anything you'd like use custom fields anywhere you could send them to your website right um them to your website another fun thing that you might want to do is after they've booked the appointment maybe you want to notify someone on your team or maybe um i had a conversation with someone that <laughs> they got like uh, three accounts with us in the same day and they weren't expecting to i don't think i think they they realized quickly just how powerful this is comparatively to some other um, options out there and they're like holy crap no, they probably are saving money because we're charging, I think, uh, the best value. I mean, we're probably going to put platforms out of business, honestly, which won't be, like, awesome, but it'll be great for the end user um, because we just made it so easy, guys. You can be so powerful with AI with this tool. It's unreal. Um, join our Discord and join our little Facebook group if you'd like to connect with other builders, by the way. Uh, there's some really, really great people. Um, every chap up builder in our program that is a paid subscriber for sure is absolutely a high, high quality person. And you should, I mean, I would, I do feel honored to be connected with them, all of them. And so you, you probably will too. There's a lot of value and a lot of smart people out there finding us thanks to YouTube mostly. Um, but maybe we want to notify a team member. So after they've booked, even if they do nothing, 
even though we give them a button for more options and we give them a button to visit the website maybe, maybe we want to alert a team member or ourselves um, specifically. We can um, create a new block, go to actions here and choose notify admin. You can select your name here and you can adjust this text to anything you'd like. So you could say, you know, something like, you know, curly bracket will open up your custom fields or you could just choose, um, in this case, it's gonna be best to choose a curly bracket. A lot of times you'll see us, we'll have the custom field bracket for you. Um, Keep in mind, the entire platform is mobile friendly, um, which is really handy on the go. I can say full name, just made an appointment. Here is the link. And what I like to do is include a link to our inbox. And so basically what this is doing, so we can, let's, let's best practices here. We'll say appointment confirmed. Awesome. And then we'll say here, alert admin for best practices, baby. And I think we're about to be done here now. Um, so in this case, what's going on is they've made the appointment. It's been confirmed. And then bam, we get the notify admin alert, which would go to me. And where do you find how you're going to get alerted is a good question. You're going to go to your settings area here. Choose admin, manage, hit your three dots on the right, click edit. And here's where you're able to define how you want to receive notifications. Notice SMS text messaging is not available because I have not connected to text messaging yet. Super easy to do that with Twilio. That's one thing that's awesome. With Twilio, literally, you go to your settings here, channels, and pop in your uh, keys here. It's that easy. Make sure you've got a, a number that's purchased, and make sure that um, your account is on a trial account with Twilio, and like literally, you're set. There is something to keep in mind. They've changed the rules and laws and stuff in the United States related to localized numbers and so the number that i recommend that you purchase is going to be an 844 number this is a toll-free number but it will allow you to receive calls and text messages and send outbound text messages as broadcasts to your list easily um so if you're looking for the chatbot that's just going to provide immense value and be something that you can turn on for your clients or for your business like a water faucet as long as there's traffic your chatbot powered by the world's best ai absolutely has a killer chance of collecting that lead or helping generate that sale speaking of just because i'm feeling so good right now if i had a microphone i could drop i would just drop it right now um, let's just go ahead and even though we're on calendar bot let's show you how we can sell something really fast let's let's sell our time and so let's find a little graphic first appointment appointment setter bot is what i've decided to name this thing let's let's borrow this graphic here but we're going to just click on copy image address to make it easy for us to borrow said photo we'll click add image from image link paste that bad boy right there we see it and so, sorry, Mr. Mike, we'll say um, one hour consulting session. And let's, let's say um, one hour here, just to have a little short description. Let's give our price something outrageous. Y'all, what do you think? How about, how about $6.99? A little $700 spot for an hour. You got to be a gangster for that. Um, let's see, we don't need to add anything else, but you can see we've got a lot of options here. Um, but you know what, let's make this even more interesting and we'll say with Ryan, right? Let's make another one. And this time it'll be with Fred, same price. This time it'll be with Mary. 
And Mary, she's just, she's got more experience than everybody, so she's going to be a little eight ninety nine, eight ninety nine to um, have an hour consulting session with Mary. Um, it's, it's Mary, the CEO, too. Just 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 so you know. Now, why did I do this? I'm going to show you how we can make a purchase in multiple ways. Um, first, let's just grab the link. We've only connected the web chat. That's cool. Let's just paste our link here. So you could literally send this link in an email or have it in a button and poof, it's gonna open up into your own personalized branded web chat and we can add the consulting session to our cart with Fred. How many one hour sessions do we want? One. Let's go ahead and check out. And in this case, by default, we've made it possible to be delivery or pickup but we don't need either one of these options. So before we proceed, let's just go ahead and make it right. We'll go to our settings here and let's go to checkout and excuse me, let's go to payments here. We've got cash on delivery. This is all good. Checkout. This is all fine here. Let's um, actually, let's do, let's see, shipping. This is what we want. We'll do none. So this is going to take away that option and just give us the quickest way to, to purchase. We can maybe take away, let's take away the state. So we don't need the state. We'll keep the zip code, keep everything else. And let's hit save. Let's go back to our products. We, we chose, let's choose Mary. We'll get the link. Copy. And so we'll go from Fred to Mary. And so let's look, click add to cart. We can only afford one hour. Let's go ahead. Well, naturally, because we we already put an hour from Fred in our cart, let's go ahead and look at our cart and show our items. We can't be spending sixteen hundred dollars on consulting, so we're not going to remove Mary's, but we are going to remove Fred. Sorry, Fred. Now we can go ahead and click cart again, and we can check out. No problem. This works on every social channel, by the way, guys, which is incredible. I know. It's awesome. You can make purchases right on Facebook, right on Instagram. Someone called me out on YouTube last time I did this, and they said, well, how do you take the payment? You take the payment with credit card when you're not doing a demo. <laughs> this is just for demo purposes. You would integrate with our one-click integration with Stripe. Um, that's what we recommend, at least. And bam, you're able to take actual payment, not just demo payment. But for the purposes of this demo, let's just tip them a little 50% spot. You know what I'm saying? So now Mary's balling. She just made her 1300 on her one hour appointment. I just got the notification on my phone. Um, we push notifications activated, which is so handy. Um, let's click X out of here. We see that on web chat immediately, we already got our receipt. Now, one thing I didn't do is I should have given my name um, in the previous conversation and it would have shown up here but we can see our order right here from the guest, which is me, paid in full. Let's accept it, delivering and conclude the order. And here, bam, 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 the order is done. And now I can see on my analytics page, boom, there's my money. Awesome, right? That's not all. And I don't even have any OxyClean to sell you. I don't even know if that what that dude said, but there's more, right? <laughs> There's more. There is more. This is the last thing I'm going to show because I'll just like I'll just go all night and show you the whole platform <laughs> and wake everybody up. We're going to click Add Content and we're going to choose Text and we'll say Click below for the super secret shop and like just to encourage them. Let's let's give them a little emoji action. Let's click add button and let's call this shop now, bow now. You didn't know this, but we have a lot of free gifts for you inside of this platform, guys and gals. In this case, you have your own web shop. If you're selling anything, if you're not selling something with your account, you should <laughs> because you can sell things so frictionlessly and easily. Um, along with all the other awesome things. But what do I mean? Well, I'm going to show you. In this case, we'll choose website. 
open up our custom fields. All these are system fields. Remember, guys, this is a brand new account. You've not seen me input any API keys. You've not seen me doing anything cra crazy. This is a brand new account, so you could literally have this out of the box, as they say. In this case, this is a custom field called shop link. And when your customers click this button, they're going to click into your own e-commerce app that rocks. So let's not talk about it and we'll be about it. Click save, publish, preview. So we'll see our calendar bot. Boom. Let's do one more thing just to keep you on the edge of your seat before I show you this glorious shop here. I had someone ask me this earlier in the chat right before I, I popped on and they wanted to clear not the conversation with OpenAI, the history. She wanted to clear the visible conversation. You could do that easily. Um, this is in the documentation and our chat bot should tell you this information as well. But I'll tell you too, you can just append this to the end of the URL. It'll be the um, and symbol LC for load content equals nada aka zero and when i click here bam no more conversation history it's all gone it's all cleared away um and so boom let's click below for the super secret shop because that emoji is enticing son shop now boom here's our one hour consulting sessions with fred ryan or mary who is the ceo but this is not looking beautiful and we need things to look pretty and awesome so how do we solve this Let's go to settings here. And I lied to you. Let's go to e-commerce here. So that's when you know it's time to um, shut her down. And we're going to go to settings in our e-commerce section. Web shop preview. We're in by default list mode. Let's change this to card. Click save. And we're literally testing how fast is Ryan's server right now. And the answer is super fast. Um, let's show you my personal favorite. It's going to be image save and let's hit refresh and boom and now here's how it looks on the person's phone if things are correct here yeah this is how it'll look for the most part it, it looks much better on the phone actually but you get the idea um i can change this view again let's make this a square view actually actually square image Bam, 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 boom. And now that's going to look much better already. So we've got our store here. Let's click on, let's, let's go ahead and buy something from Fred here. Y'all, y'all like that little animation there? <laughs> let's click to um, add it to our cart. We see our cart here. And yes, of course you can control the color. Um, let's proceed to the checkout. And again, there is no option here to pick up or to deliver because we didn't want that we removed that option just a couple minutes ago um, in this case we're not going to tip fred sorry process the payment in this case again in order for us to take the credit card it's one click to integrate with stripe super duper easy you just go to settings here integrations and you get a stripey stripe that i think is going to be it for now guys i hope sorry mike guys i hope you enjoyed this video the google calendar integration is sick it is got to be the easiest way to allow your customers to book an appointment that is actually fully integrated with whatever channel that you're dealing with from whatsapp to instagram web chat Facebook, you name it, very, very easy. Um, and you're going to have that synchronized conversation. So whether they become a lead on Facebook or Instagram, the moment you've collected that email address and that phone number, bam, either from the inbox or through your automated campaigns, you're able to directly one-on-one -on -one or one-to-one -one message them, communicate, or in a broadcast setting. So it's very, very powerful business communication here, guys. Thanks for watching and thank you so much for the support. Shout out to the newest white label owners who are, they've gotta be proud of their product. They're gonna be able to sell 
under their name, which we think is pretty cool. Um, so shout out to you guys. You know who you are. If you have any questions, as always, let us know, and we're happy to help you. Thanks for watching.